Hey there, this is Justin Stone Diaz, um, and I am or have been participating in Sharon Salzberg's um, 28 Day Challenge. Um, you'll have to forgive the frogginess of my voice, um, but it, it leads into um, the 28 Day Challenge. Um, so, people that have been following um, these videos and follow me on social media and my friends and people of you know my family and all that good stuff um, know that I've been doing a 28 day challenge um, it's a set of practices by Sharon Salzberg um, which you which focuses on a combination of breathing meditation loving kindness meditation loving and walking meditation um, it's basically um, the basic practices of insight meditation mixed with a heavy focus on sitting breath um, mindfulness. Um, yeah, so I finished the 28 day, the, the 28 day challenge and um, it was really a transformative experience. It's, I'm not gonna say the, the 28 day challenge itself was transformative the book itself just gave me a framework and a small community of people that I could talk to and just bounce things off of without really realizing that I was. Um, uh, doing practice and community really made sense um, after I participated in this. Uh, I've connected with like three or four people, um, two of them um, that directly did the 28 day challenge and then a couple other people that I met through them um, through Twitter. Um, so I'm very grateful that the 28 Day Challenge provided a framework and a way for me to connect with those people because um, practicing in community is kind of the type of practice I do best and, and the kind of um, thing that I was looking for when I picked up the book. Um, yeah, so 28 Day Challenge, the um, walk away from it for me um, was just, it was resetting the ground for me. Um, I've been a practitioner of meditation for almost 15 years now, or 10, 15 years, who knows, I don't count. Um, and I have really bad dyscalculia, so numbers aren't my thing. Um, we'll, we'll correct that in the edit or something, who knows. Um, yeah, so my practice um, has always been a big part of my life um, and it takes many forms and I had forgotten that um, all my other forms of practice um, which included service, um, my writings, um, my art, my community work, my nonprofit work, um, all that, my karma yoga, um, that's a big part of my practice, but I had forgotten that it was based on a foundation of um, basic meditation, which I learned under um, the wing of Anam Tuptin. Um, but um, reconnecting with um, Sharon um, through the book and through her teachings um, that she provides in the book, I mean, she's very clear that she's just sort of giving you a set of tools to pick up and do with what you may. Um, so it was, just, it's, it was just great being provided a toolbox of um, tools that, you know, have been worked for other people and provided in such a simple way. Um, but it, it reopened something for me. Um, so getting back to the basic meditation and doing insight meditation, I hadn't realized that I do a lot of process and a lot of insight meditation in a lot of the other stuff I do. Um, I have several um, mantra recitations that I do um, and I kind of didn't understand that my visualization and my mantra practice is actually based in, on um, calm abiding which is the breath meditation and the contemplation side which is the insight meditation. Um, I hadn't realized I've been using those tools for almost 10 years so actually being able to listen to Sharon and understand the place of Vipassana or insight meditation within the context of my um, tantric practice was mind-blowing. Um, so this is a spoiler um, alert at this point. If you are a Buddhist practitioner and you've taken refuge 
Um, please, um, if, if you've um, been practicing for more than five or six years, keep watching. But if you're a new practitioner, please um, hit the stop button and don't watch anymore. Um, but um, as I return to the basic um, practices of calm abiding, the breath meditation, and understanding what insight meditation actually is, those contemplative moments where Sharon would lead us through the audio meditations on different concepts, um, I was already doing in different phases of my visualization practice. Um, all the really cool things I learned in the past 10 years regarding you know, the development phase, generative phase, accumulative phase, um, it all came together with these practices. And with that, my practice has become a lot simpler. Um, I'm not having to force myself to practice every day. Um, the space to do sitting meditation is opening up fairly easily um, just because of the circumstances of that that I've put myself in. Um, so now with all this going on, it coincided with the Occupy Wall Street situation. Um, hence the voice. Um, in getting my basic practice down and sort of clearing my side of the street, um, my life opened up. I started volunteering for 826NYC um, and I started getting out of my shell and getting back to who I've, who I've been developing over these years. Um, and so as Occupy Wall Street's kind of erupted into New York City and I've been pulled into it. Um, it's all because of these practices. Um, I don't want to sound like some sort of fanatical, like, oh, but go out and buy the book. But um, I suggest if there's some sort of practice that you can do with other people online, it's one of the best things you can do. Um, anything you can do in a group of people, it's always better when you're around other people who are have the same goals and the same ideas and are willing to try the same set of tools with an open mind um, because all the things I open myself up to in doing the 28 day challenge they are exactly what I'm using in Occupy Wall Street so um, if you want to find out what's going on with my voice and why these video posts weren't coming in so frequently um, stay tuned I'm going to try and do another video right after this if this doesn't take too long to process. So if you like this video, please thumb it up, share it with your friends, and stay tuned. I will have uh, my Occupy Wall Street 28 Days Later meditation practice. And um, my thanks to everyone who's been watching these. And most of all, um, my thanks to you, Sharon. Um, but I have the opportunity to see you more often these days. Um, so... Um, I get to thank you all the time, but again, thank you, Sharon, and thank you, everyone else who has been following this. Um, I've heard that there's going to be another formal 28-day practice in February, so let's all get in touch. Follow me on Twitter, and let's do this again sometimes later. So um, stay tuned for the Occupy Wall Street update from Justin Stone.